Hello guys, welcome to this video. I'll be looking at task 18c. The question says, open the database that you saved in task 18b. Add a new field to the database called pdate. Add the purchase date of 20 December 2020 for the last car added to the database. Save the database as task uh, 18c. Okay, so let's um, open our database. Okay, so of course I'll go to task 18b. I want to open that and then save it as object. As uh, task 18c. Let me do, just do that quickly. Mm, yeah, make sure you don't leave spaces uh, so that you don't have any, you don't get errors. So let me just save that. Okay. So, the next thing we want to do is to go to the design view. We want to have the new field as a P date, right? And then, of course, the data type has to be date and time, right? And then, uh, we can go to the data sheet view now. And then see that we've got a P date field here, right? Now, you want to go to the last record according to the question. Add a new field to the database called video, okay? Add the purchase uh, date of 20 December 2020 for the last car added to the database. So, so I want to go to the last car. Last car was for Focus Server, so which is here. So, we want to add uh, 20 slash 12 which is december 2020 right so we want to okay that and then we can have that but of course what we need here is a long um, date right so you want to go back to your design view you want to actually make sure that you click on the date and time a uh, letter type of field you want to go to um, format here from general you want to click on format Mm, yes, this is what I'm going to have here. That should be the long date, right? So you want to go to data sheet view and save your changes. Okay, let me just uh, adjust this a bit. Uh, a little bit more, sorry. Okay, so we're going to have this. But what I need actually is this uh, 20 December 2020. Not really, I don't need Sunday here, right? I don't need that, but it appears. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back my, to my design view. So instead of writing, having a format, so I'm going to have some like DD, which will represent the, uh, the day. And then I have MMM into four places, which will represent the month. And then I'll have YY, YY into four places also. So let me see whether that will work for me. And I suppose it has to work. All right, so that will give us this, right? So let me um, let me see. Okay, yeah. So I think that's what it's about. I don't have to put any comma because from here did not put any comma here. So I think I'm good, right there. All right. So um, in case if you have a way, another way of doing this instead of uh, writing the this code here, D D M M M, and then Y Y Y. So if you have any other way to do that, you can also um, leave a comment down below. So some uh, access uh, apps can may have the normal dates, right? Like it's written in the question here. So, but this one has something different. So I have to put this code here. Okay. So um, if you have any other question, please leave a comment down below. Um, okay. Mm, what's the next thing? Um, okay. So I think it's about that's about it. So let me just save my changes and then I'll close this. And then I'll, I'll see you guys uh, in the next one. Any question, please leave a comment down below. I'll be glad to answer that. All right. See you. Bye.